Flooded homeowners say they need help from state lawmakers. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kiana Burks in for Cat. And I'm Ike Ben David in for Darren. Eight months since last summer's devastating floods and cash-strapped communities say they want their homes more flood resilient. Channel 3 political reporter Calvin Cutler is live in our Montpelier Bureau. Calvin, what are they looking for? Yeah, that's right. Good evening. Flood recovery was on everybody's lips at the beginning of this legislative session, but some are worried that it's starting to sputter. Now, homeowners who are living in gutted homes say that they need a lift. Ed Haggett has lived in this State Street home for the last 47 years. This is what I called my uh, sunroom. Last summer, his home was inundated with rain and caught in the bullseye of the Winooski River's floodwaters, which tore through Montpelier. It blew a hole into the ceiling here. And when Haggett returned to his home on July 12th, he found his entire basement was flooded and the first floor of his home took on over five feet of water. Haggett has flood insurance, but says that only scratched the surface in helping, and he did not receive any help from FEMA. He's retired and on a fixed income. I plan and plan to pay off my mortgage and retire here. That's all gone. My life as I knew it is gone, gone, gone. He's still deciding his next move and whether he should pursue a buyout or try to lift up his home. Officials in his community are hoping state lawmakers can help. We have folks that are living in dangerous situations who cannot wait that long. Leaders from Montpelier and Barrie say many are living in squalor, in gutted homes, battling mold, and struggling with basic living. Trash bags, uh, mattresses, my mattress floated. Those two communities want three and a half million dollars to lift up 20 homes above the floodplain, like Haggett's or his next door neighbors we showed you last summer. They contend it's cheaper than building a new home and will keep people in the community and the grand list stable. For Barry, uh, we don't have much of a choice but to build safely in the floodplain uh, because we don't have a, a lot of other places to grow. It's unknown whether state budget writers will find room for Barry and Montpelier's ask. Flood recovery was expected to take center stage this session, but some, including Haggett, worry it's been eclipsed by property taxes and other issues. But supporters say flood relief can't wait for the feds. We have people who are just starting to figure out if, what, how they're going to do anything about their homes. Now, this Friday is a key deadline at the State House where bills dealing with money and appropriations have to be voted out. And supporters hope that the, the uh, proposal can make it across the finish line before then. Reporting live in our Montpelier Bureau, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin,